In this video, I'm going to go through my top five skills for Excel data analysts. But before I begin the countdown, I want to make one thing crystal clear. I'm going to make an assumption about you as the viewer. And the assumption I'm going to make is that you are already an Excel user. You already know how to use tables of data in Excel and build charts from those tables of data, that you know how to use pivot tables and to build pivot charts. And maybe, even maybe, you know how to build interactive dashboards in Excel. So I'm going to make that assumption. And I'm also going to make an assumption that you're interested in taking your data analysis game to the next level. And what I mean specifically by that is you want to learn how to use predictive analytics inside of Excel with your data. Because there's an argument to be made that that is what's going to differentiate many, many data analysts in the workforce. Not only can they do the descriptive stuff, they can create dashboards and pivot charts and that sort of thing, but they can also use data in Excel to create predictive models, and then analyze the business in new and powerful ways. So that is the perspective of this video, my top five skills for those Excel data analysts that want to up their game. Number five on the list is Microsoft Excel Power Query. Now, if you're not familiar, Power Query is a technology built into Microsoft Excel that allows you to create automations. That is, you create individual steps that take data from a source, let's say like a table in your workbook or an entire Excel file itself. You take that data as a source and then you run it through a bunch of automated steps that clean and transform your data. Power Query is quite simply awesome. If you're interested in up-leveling your data analysis game in Excel, it's essentially a must-have skill because it provides functionality that you just can't get with out-of-the-box Excel very easily or at all. And what it does is it enables you to clean and massage and transform your data in a way that is required for the more advanced analytics scenarios that I'm gonna be talking about throughout the rest of the list. Not only that, but you can actually use Power Query itself, the functionality of Power Query, to implement advanced analytics techniques. For example, I have a tutorial video on my YouTube channel here that shows you how to implement k-means clustering using nothing more than tables of data and a little bit of Power Query. So Power Query is a must-have if you want to up-level your analytics game, and that's why it's number five on the list. Number four on the list is logistic regression analysis. And if you're not familiar with logistic regression, it is a predictive modeling technique where the thing that you're trying to predict is a label. And typically you can think of it as a yes, no label. And as you might imagine, being able to predict these types of scenarios from your data is extremely common in the business world. So for example, let's say that you're a bank and you're interested in understanding whether or not someone is likely to default on a loan. You could use a logistic regression analysis to create a predictive model that would say how likely it is that someone's going to default or not on a loan. You can think of other scenarios as well in the logistic regression space. Approve this credit card authorization, yes or no. Is this particular customer who has gone to our e-commerce site likely to convert, to pay for their shopping cart and buy something from us, yes or no? Logistic regression is wildly, wildly useful. These yes no scenarios are everywhere in the business world and logistic regression analysis can be implemented in Excel using the solver. And it's not all that difficult at all. And it allows you to take your data that you get maybe as the result of Power Query and then run it through the predictive analytics technique and provides you with cool insights of what's going on in the business. So that's number four, logistic regression analysis. Number three on the list is another form of regression. The last item was logistic regression, which allowed you to predict yes, no labels. This is linear regression analysis, number three on the list. And it allows you to predict numeric quantities, things like sales, for example. Linear regression is a workhorse in the predictive analytics world. It is the single most commonly used predictive modeling technique, bar none, in the world. It is used by psychologists, it's used by economists, it's used by sociologists, it's used by data scientists, it's used by everybody to analyze their data. And here's the cool thing. With the Mighty Analysis tool pack inside of Excel, you can very easily learn how to conduct sophisticated linear regression analyses directly in Excel, and you let Excel handle all the math. So what you do is you focus on the concepts, you focus on the ability to actually apply linear regression to your business data, and then interpret the results 
in a rigorous way. So linear regression is awesome. And it is definitely a huge differentiator if you're interested in upping your Excel data analysis game. So there you have it, number three, linear regression analysis in Excel. Just a quick aside here, if you're liking the video, if you're finding it useful, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be really, really helpful for me to tell the YouTube algorithm that this is valuable content that other professionals might find useful. And if you're interested in learning more about the skills that I'm talking about in this video, check out the description below and I will have links to various YouTube tutorials where you can learn more about the skills that I'm covering. All right, let's move on to the next skill on the list. Number two on the list is exploratory data analysis or EDA. Exploratory data analysis is a fundamental skill of any data analyst that is interested in applying predictive analytics to their data. EDA is a process whereby you formulate in your mind's eye a business question that you're planning on answering using predictive analytics. So let's say, for example, you're going to use logistic regression analysis to predict whether a customer is going to convert to paying yes or no. And that frames up your exploratory data analysis because before you even build the predictive model, you're gonna go through the data and understand what it could potentially offer the model. Because if the data doesn't have any patterns, doesn't have any signal in it, there's really no point in creating a predictive model. So EDA is always the first step in any sort of predictive analytics scenario. And here's the great news. Excel has so many capabilities between base tables, the analysis tool pack, pivot tables and pivot charts. It is a perfect tool for conducting exploratory data analyses prior to using predictive analytics. And that's why it is number two on the list. And now we've reached number one on the list, process behavior charts, the mighty process behavior chart. This is my number one data analysis skill for Excel users for one simple reason. It provides you the most bang for your buck. If you're not familiar, a process behavior chart is a very simple data visualization that allows you to rigorously, statistically, analyze business process measures over time. These things are sometimes called metrics, they're sometimes called KPIs, or sometimes called OKRs. Essentially, any sort of number that you track over time that characterizes what's going on in your business can be analyzed by these charts in a rigorous statistical way. And the killer thing is they are so easy to build and use with just out of the box Excel. That's why they are number one on the list. And let me give you an example of how you can use these things from the world of HR. So let's say that you're interested in understanding the attrition rates between two different organizations. So let's say in Org A, you have a hypothesis that the management has gone downhill. Uh, maybe they're not as good as they used to be. And as a result, their attrition rate is now higher than organization B. How do you actually prove that? Well, you could just create a line chart, for example, in Excel and do that. But what's better is if you use a mighty process behavior chart. And what you do is you take some monthly data for the attrition rate from org A, you take monthly data for the attrition rate in org B, you create a process behavior chart for each, and then you compare them. And what that allows you to do is determine if there is a statistically significant difference between the attrition rates in those organizations. And once again, they require no complicated math, no complicated formulas. They are dead simple to build and use. And by the way, they are absolutely awesome to put on your Excel dashboards. That's why the Mighty Process Behavior Chart is at number one on my list. If you're interested in learning more about Excel data analysis, check out a couple more of my tutorials here and here. Powerful data analysis with Excel. You've got this if you want it. Any professional can learn how to do this. Until next time, please stay healthy and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.